Dr. Tardini, you mentioned yeah. coffee. For, for our listeners out there who, who may be aware of the heartbeat at times, uncomfortable with it, first thing is to monitor how much caffeine you're, you're, you're ingesting every day and, and maybe cut back on it. Well, that's, that's actually not a bad point. And Dr. Tardini, I'm going to let you jump in because one of the things he and I have been discussing is lifestyle. One of the things Dr. Tardini and I talked about is, am I too stressed out? Am I not sleeping enough? Am I drinking too many Coke Zeros? Probably so. Am I, you know, not eating regularly? It could be a number of things. So I, as you guys have talked about, lifestyle does matter here. And, you know, the Apple Watch, they did a study using that to screen for significant arrhythmias. While it's helpful, the problem and conundrum with that is that it's a lot of false positives. It could be oversensitive. So while you can use that as a tool to help track and see if there's a pattern or identify if there's an issue, you really want to seek out a medical professional before you leap into that danger zone of really worrying about things. So let the medical professionals let you know if there's no, something to worry about and don't make it even worse, especially if anxiety could be driving this by seeing something that shows up on your watch. Well, we appreciate you're in Dr. Jen's court. What's your, what's your advice to people who may be experiencing changes in their heart rate similar to what Dr. Jen has experienced? If you're not sure, if you're worried, go get checked out. Don't wait. If you're not comfortable going to an office, many physicians, including myself, are offering video or telehealth visits. If you're not comfortable coming into an office, to at least get the ball rolling and get the process working as far as figuring things out. Because most of the time, simply with a history, by you tracking the symptoms that you're experiencing, and even just some basic blood work, that can give us the answer without even having to dig in further as far as what's going on. Great information, Doc. So, Dr. Cottle, to yeah. you, you're the doctor, too. So what, what advice do you have for our listeners who may have similar concerns? Yeah, well, first of all, in addition to all the great advice that you've both given, is to not dismiss how you're feeling. And we're all doctors. We know, and I've said this and I say this all the time, for patients out there, if something is worrying you, then chances are it might be concerning to me too. And I, I have a feeling you guys probably agree. So that's when we want to see our patients. So um, Dr. Tardetti, I can't thank you enough, honestly. You've been amazing and um, thank you for everything. My pleasure, just happy to help. We're living in uncertain times. Delta variant is pushing. It's not always easy to keep up with the latest medical headlines. That's where the doctors come in. Now in our 14th season, the doctors continue to bring health and happiness into your life, giving you solid takeaway information. Things aren't being as heavily regulated as you might think. And we're uncovering medical scams to keep you safe. A lot of them contain a dangerous chemical known to cause cancer. What works and what doesn't. I'm always a doctor, but this was one of the few times that I was a patient, and it can be scary. The hottest trends in beauty and wellness. Pull it up, keep it tight. The prognosis is good. The doctors, a prescription for a better you.